What is up guys and welcome to the official bully finale. Now, let me just prove to you guys that I finally completed the game for the full 100%. There it is. I've gotten every single detail covered in my channel and uh, at least if you're a PS2 player you can use my walkthrough if you want to get 100%. And I feel awesome saying that because the entire time I was making videos for Bully, I was always afraid that I would never complete it because, well, it was my first time. And even if I knew a lot about the game, I, I was still unsure. But hey guys, it turned out to be successful and I am so happy to finally say that, uh, yeah, it's over. I've done it. I can't believe it. Um, so I want to thank you guys for watching, you know, all the videos for those who watched every single one, and I wish I could, you know, give you guys a shout out, but there's a lot of you right now, and it would just not be fair to the others. I decided to make a separate finale to show you guys all the dorm room trophies that we've gotten as we progress through this walkthrough. As you can see, our dorm room is covered with a bunch of goodies in the walls and the ceilings, you name it. So starting as the first trophy, we have Russell's worn out t-shirt from the, bur the first uh, boss battle with him. Over here we have the uh, number one paperboy ribbon from uh, all the paper root missions. And over here we have the boxing headgear from finishing gym 5, kind of look like ladies underwear. <laughs> this poster and that poster you see over here are just like extras. You don't really get them by completing anything. You have to buy them at the carnival if you want them on your room. But they're not really required so don't worry about that. I just wanted to buy them because they kind of look cool. As you can see over there we have Zoe. It's like a rock poster I guess. And then the other one, it seems like we have one of the GT3 characters if you ask me. If not, that kind of looks like Mandy. And the, uh, motor... I can't read that. Oh, motor cars, okay. Uh, over here, we have the amazing bat cricket trophy, I think that's what it's called, that we get after finishing the story, you know, in the final showdown with Gary. And up there, we have all the, uh, planet hangar thingies, I think it's called a, uh, planet mobile thing that we get from the nerd boss battle with uh, Ernest. And over here we have the collection of girlfriends. This is probably the funniest part. So yeah, we got all of these from different missions with these girls. This one over here is from Pinky that we got from the carnival date mission. Up here we have the Lola one that we got from the Lola's race mission. Over here we have Beatrice's picture from the diary. We have Mandy's picture from uh, Discretion Assured. And over here we have Zoe's picture from Smash It Up. And over here in the middle we have the panties from uh, the panty raid mission. Or site mission, I guess. Over here we have a really boring looking art set that we get from finishing all the art classes, but it still looks pretty cool, I guess you could say. Anyway, over here we have the boxing gloves from the Dishonorable, Dishonorable Fight. And over here we have the uh, Burned Bull posters from the uh, Dimness Burning side mission. We have the steering wheel from finishing all the good kart races. And over here we have the BMX frame from finishing all of the uh, shop classes. Over here we have the uh, dead plant from the We Killer side mission. And down there we have uh, the busted picture from uh, Jealous Johnny. You know, when jo Lola was cheating on him with Gord. I think it was Gord, I don't even remember. And then down here we have a precious picture of Miss Phillips that she gave us uh, once we finish all the photography classes. And then over here we have the character sheets from the character sheets side mission that we did from Melvin. V is for victory, the poster that we get from Ernest after we do the candidate mission. Over here we have Johnny's jacket from his boss fight. And over here we have the huge trophy, the real golden one for finishing all the bike races, as well as the plastic silver painted with the name misspelled little trophy we get from Race the Vowel mission. And down here we have a tombstone from when we smashed all of them. 
along with the pumpkins in the Halloween mission. And then right next to that we have the teddy bear that we gave Pinky uh, in the carnival date mission. Of course we have the Grim Reaper from the House ha Fun House Fun uh, mission. And over here we have the gnome after we smashed them all. And uh, over here we have the orderly uniform that we get, we get after we do Finding Donnie Vincent. And over here we have the football jersey that we get after the dog boss battle. Over here we have uh, the dodgeball from completing all the dodgeball classes in gym. Rat a jar from uh, rats in the library of course Jimmy just had to keep a rat in a jar I don't really know who does that and then finally we have all the blue skies posters from the uh, final two missions which were busting in um, so yeah guys that is about it for all the trophies that we get in the game I'll show you I already have all of them room trophies unlocked 36 out of 36 no there's no light this isn't helping but anyway guys, that is about it for this walkthrough. I really hope you enjoyed. I had so much fun filming this. Let me just say that I might just get back to this walkthrough. Why? Because who knows, maybe in the future I might just redo it on PC. Because this is a general walkthrough for PS2 users. Um, if you are a PC user or an Xbox user and you have this game there, I have a fully in-depth list that I made myself on the playlist description of this walkthrough, so if you want to check that out, then feel free to. But anyway, guys, if you 100% completed this game using my walkthrough, then I want to congratulate you, because you're a boss. And uh, if you're currently using this walkthrough, I think I can now say that this is a definite walkthrough. There are no errors. I, I guess I'm just really proud to say that. I did it! Woo! And if you ask me, I'm probably one of the first people to do a really, like, detailed walkthrough on this game. Because there's a bunch of Let's Plays and Jimmy is falling asleep. Let's just go to sleep and do Jimmy a little favor. But, um, there's a lot of Let's Plays for this game on YouTube. And a lot of them are 100%. Um, so that's why I consider my walkthrough to be a little more detailed and just made exactly to help you guys achieve 100%. And for a little bit of entertainment, of course. So, uh, yeah. What else can I say, guys? I've done it. Um, fourth 100% completion walkthrough trailer is going up very soon. Keep your eyes open for that. Probably never gonna see any more bully content from me for a while. Like I said, I may cover this game for PC users in a far future, I guess. But, uh, for now... I want to thank you guys for watching, I want to thank you guys for supporting my walkthrough, and uh, yeah. I think I cannot say this guys, I love you guys, I really do. I don't, I don't think I've ever actually ever said that. But I really do guys, I want to thank you for watching, you know, I think I've said that like 2 million times and I just can't finish this video because I just don't know how. I don't know how much I can keep thanking you guys. But anyway, oh crap. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next walkthrough.